Welcome again to the Diocese of Homa Thibodeau as we prepare for the safe return to schools. I'm Lonnie Thibodeau. We're here at St. Joseph Elementary uh, in Thibodeau today. We're with Jennifer Russell, who is the curriculum specialist here at St. Joseph. Welcome, Jennifer. And we're gonna talk about a very, uh, or actually a couple of important subjects that are kind of interrelated. Let's start with one that perhaps a lot of people have not heard about, perhaps parents have not okay. heard about, and it's two simple words, benchmark assessment. I guess me as a non-educator, it's as simple as where should my student be at the beginning of this yep. whatever school year yep. he's in yep. versus where he actually is, especially considering the way we ended the last school year. So why don't you kind of better okay. explain for parents to understand that? No problem. So you're right, Lonnie. Uh, benchmark assessment is, is nothing new. It is something good educators do every year. Um, it's, it's basically um, an assessment that is not graded, but it gives educators information on specific grade level content that students should have mastered as they, you know, now enter a new grade level. So with distance learning and, you know, the challenges that we have had, um, we want to make sure that our students are prepared for the next grade level. So a benchmark assessment is going to give us data, actionable data that we can now use to guide our curriculum decisions going into the new school year. Mm -hmm. That might mean um, having to scaffold a certain skill, you know, such as, let's just say multiplication facts. Maybe at the end of the year we were going to finish the nines and we weren't in person to do that. So we, we get a little nervous, you know, maybe we need to now as a fourth grade math teacher infuse some of those same types of learning mm -hmm. into daily practice. It could be infused into small group instruction. It could be infused into just... Um, adaptive technology resources that we use in the classroom with our kids. So it's basically targeting those skills that are most important mm -hmm. to ensure that the students are successful in the next grade level. Um, with that said, that's not the only bit of information that we use. Um, our teachers are a very valuable tool in just having grade level subject specific conversations. You know, yesterday here at St. Joseph, we did that. We had teacher talk and we talked about what are some things I, as a teacher, could brag about? What our kids are coming into you really strongly knowing? And then what are some concerns we have because of distance learning, because we weren't there face-to-face -face with the kids on mm -hmm. a daily basis? Just mm -hmm. kind of planting some seeds and then using all of that information to, to devise instructional plans for moving forward and meeting the needs of all of our learners. And you did a good job right there, Jenny, of really kind of segueing into the other subject that we want to make sure that we, we address in this video, and that is curriculum. Yes. I mean, whether it's math or science or whatever it is, I mean, it's very, very important, you know, where should they be exactly. compared to, to where they actually are, right. and maybe special steps that y'all may have to take. Right. Um, again, it's important at the beginning of the year to know where your students are, perhaps right. even more so important this year because of Absolutely, the way we had the end last year. Absolutely, Lonnie. No, you're exactly right. I mean, this this is what good teachers do every year. You do not assume that your kids are coming to you knowing everything they should have mastered. You're going to have learning gaps. And so that is, you know, a teacher's job, any subject, any grade level, to identify those needs from the get-go as soon as possible and then devise a plan. It might mean redoing, you know, my curriculum mapping to add a few extra days to, to recover something or reteach a, a skill that maybe they don't have as polished as we had hoped. Um, and like I spoke about earlier, you know, letting those things drive what we do daily in the classroom, on the spot, you know, with, I know you wouldn't know what bell work is, but it's, it's like a spiral reviewing of skills appropriate to each subject because we know kids forget just like we forget. So those are just best practices that our teachers do on a daily basis. You kind of don't even realize it's happening, but they have pre-planned a lot of what they do to get those kids stronger and better and, right. and ready. And before we wrap up, one, one thing that you briefly addressed earlier, and I want to go back to this, y'all really never had much of a summer our educators, y'all worked, went to we, training, and did a lot of special things. I know throughout the summer. Summer, yes. Um, I'm speaking for just St. Joseph at the moment, but we had Tech It Out Tuesdays. Um, we knew that our teachers, basically through distance learning, had to learn a lot really quickly. Um, and so we've been blessed with a technology director, Miss Maddie Beck, now who has pretty much led every single Tuesday from June all the way through July a full day of work for our teachers where they came in and learned the latest, greatest digital resources that they're going to use in person in the classroom to enhance instruction. Um, but also now we have it, you know, 
at our fingertips in case we would have to move to a different form of learning, whether it would be remote, hybrid, you know, we don't want that to happen, but we feel like we're prepared. We've just, you know, seen the need and ran with it. Um, another thing that Miss Superintendent Troxclair um, had us do this summer across the diocese, so this will impact all la English language arts and math teachers, is um, we had 16 teachers from across the diocese work to create a tech toolbox for teachers. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And so in there, every standard for ELA, for English language arts, and for math are linked directly to digital resources, videos of how to, you know, um, multiply, videos for phonics skills. Um, it could be Google slide presentations that are interactive. So if the children have a Chromebook in front of them, they can engage and, you know, learn how to count or just, just do anything like that. I mean, just amazing, an amazing wealth of resources that have been now delivered to the teachers across the diocese. Yesterday, our teachers got to take a look at it and one of them said, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna sleep tonight because as I click on, I mean, there's thousands of links, Lonnie, and each link takes me directly to the resource. I can just copy that hyperlink, embed it into my Google slide, my Google presentation, my classroom activities. It's done. Right. So, Jenny, we want to thank you, Jenny. Jenny Russell, again, who is the curriculum specialist here at St. Joseph Elementary. So many more topics we'll be talking about. The days we're counting down to, as Bishop said a few weeks ago, I can hear those school bells in the distance and they're getting much, much closer. Thank Jenny, thanks to all of our wonderful educators throughout the diocese of Home of Thibodeau for all their wonderful work throughout the summer and as we head into this next school year. I want to thank you for joining us and God bless you.